All right, so we have installed anti-gravity and we have created our first project. Now I got a message from one of my friend asking me about how anti-gravity works with Gemini CLI. So he had a lot of questions about Gemini CLI and anti-gravity and I thought that uh, others may also have these questions if they haven't used Gemini CLI and anti-gravity or even if you have you may come up with these questions. So let me clarify all these things. So does Gemini CLI work with anti-gravity? Does it integrate with anti-gravity to make the workflow even better or to generate better results? And also another question is, does it help if you have AI Pro or AI Ultra subscription and Gemini CLI with anti-gravity? So these are good questions. You are asking about how these different services from Google work with each other. The short answer is you likely don't need the Gemini CLI inside anti-gravity. So let's go over what anti-gravity is. Anti-gravity is an agent first IDE. Instead of just suggesting code while we type it, it allows you to spawn autonomous agents that plan, write, test and debug code for you. Anti-gravity is powered by Gemini 3 Pro, Google's newest model, but it also supports Claude Sonnet 4.5 and GPD OSS. It has two distinct views, the editor view, which looks like VS Code, and it is actually a fork of VS Code, but with an AI sidebar that can control the terminal and browser. And it also has a manager view, a mission control dashboard where you don't see code at all, you see agents working. You can assign task A to one agent and task B to another and watch them work in parallel. So instead of dumping code into a chat window, Agents create artifacts, structured plans, task lists, and diffs that you approve or reject. And it is currently free for public preview with generous usage limits on Gemini 3. Now, as I mentioned earlier, anti-gravity has Gemini 3 Pro. And while Gemini CLI and anti-gravity may technically work together because anti-gravity has a terminal, using them together is redundant. Anti-gravity is essentially the evolution of what the Gemini CLI was trying to do, but with a full graphical interface. So consider anti-gravity as Gemini CLI, but with GUI and with better intelligence. So let's break down the question. So does our AI Pro or AI Ultra subscription help? For anti-gravity, currently it is in public preview and is free to use with its own generous rate limits. It doesn't currently require your pro subscription to work. It has its own quota. However, Google has hinted that eventually high usage tiers for anti-gravity will likely be tied to the Google AI Ultra or advanced plans. However, if you have Gemini CLI, this is where your subscription matters. Google AI Ultra subscribers get immediate access to the new Gemini 3 Pro model in the CLI. Google AI Pro subscribers are currently on a wait list for Gemini 3 Pro in the CLI and they default to Gemini 2.5. Alright, so with anti-gravity, you are getting the state-of-the-art Gemini 3 Pro model by default. You already have Gemini 3 Pro inbuilt with anti-gravity. So by using anti-gravity, you are getting better model access Gemini 3 that you would get in CLI with a Pro or Ultra subscription. Now, does Gemini CLI integrate with anti-gravity? Technically, yes, but practically no. There is no special integration. There is no hidden feature where the CLI talks to the anti-gravity interface. If you run Gemini chat inside the anti-gravity terminal, it's just running as a standard text command. It doesn't know about the manager view or the agents you have running in the sidebar. It is redundant because anti-gravity has built-in agents. Gemini CLI allows you to type refactor this file. Anti-gravity allows you to type refactor this file and it can see the file, edit it, run it and test it. Think of it this way. Gemini CLI is an agent that lives in your terminal. It is text based only. It is blind to your GUI. It cannot see your GUI. It cannot see your IDE. It cannot access or modify things in your IDE. Anti-gravity however, is an agent that lives in your entire code editor. It can see tabs, terminals, browsers, and files. So should you use them together? 
Honest advice, no. If you're using anti-gravity, you should use anti-gravity sidebar, which is the agent manager, instead of the Gemini CLI. Because the first reason is context awareness. The anti-gravity agent in the sidebar has deep access to the IDE's internal state. That means it can see which file is open, where your cursor is, etc. The Gemini CLI running in the terminal does not know what file you are looking at unless you explicitly faded the file. And next reason is vibe coding versus agentic coding. The CLI is great for vibe coding asking quick questions and going on with the code. However, anti-gravity is for agentic coding, doing the work. You are not doing the work, the agents are doing the work. In vibe coding, you are doing the work, but you are taking help from the AI. But now in anti-gravity, you are delegating the work to anti-gravity to the agent and the anti-gravity agent is simply more powerful than the Gemini CLI. The only time you might want to use the Gemini CLI inside the anti-gravity terminal is for non-coding tasks to save your anti-gravity quota. All right, don't use up your anti-gravity quota for general things. For example, you may want to ask what is the capital of Peru or write me an email to my boss. You don't want to use your anti-gravity quota for these things. You could do this in the anti-gravity sidebar but it consumes your agent context window. It might be cleaner to just pop open the terminal, type Gemini chat and ask the question and then close it, keeping your main coding agent focused purely on the code. So if you have any Google premium subscription, Still, use anti-gravity for all your heavy coding. It gives you Gemini 3 Pro, which is better than what your CLI currently has. Forget the CLI while you are inside anti-gravity. The built-in manager view is strictly superior. Keep the CLI for when you are not in the IDE. For example, you can SSH into a remote server or for doing quick system admin work in a standalone terminal window. So I think and I hope that now things are clear for you. What anti-gravity is for and what Gemini CLI is for. Now look, vibe coding is fun, but knowing what you're doing is a much better vibe. If you are ready to graduate from prompt engineering to actual engineering, my full courses are linked below. Hit subscribe if you want more tech reviews that don't just hype the tools, but actually teach you how to survive them. I'll catch you later.